Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Jenny Ward from PPM Works and this video will demonstrate one plan in the Microsoft eco ecosystem and how one plan integrates with the Power Platform. In one plan, we have the option to embed reports, to connect Power Automate and Power Apps, as well as continuing to use Microsoft Project Professional if your project managers on the team prefer to work with that application rather than on a web-based tool. So first, let's take a look at reports. From the environment, you can access reports from several different places. If we go to My Portfolio, this will show us our whole list of projects and epics and uh, programs and portfolios within the environment. And we can access an embedded version of the dashboard report. This is a report that is a template that is available from OnePlan. There are about five or six different templates that organizations can use, depending on how many of the OnePlan elements they are utilizing. So this one covers the ideas dashboard, objectives and key results, as, as well as the overall portfolio summary, which is the page we were just on. It can show you a health summary of projects as well. Okay, financial summaries, schedule summaries, etc. This is a report that is published here on the Power BI service. So your folks can either go directly into OnePlan if they're already working in OnePlan and this is where they want to see the embedded version of the report, they can do that. But if you have another set of people, you know, perhaps executives who aren't in the tool all day every day like PMs might be, then they can go directly to the Power BI service and access these reports. They can also subscribe to the report and just get an email with a link to the report. Okay, within one plan, there are several different places where the uh, reports exist. So if we go into one of these plans specifically, we can see that on financials, there is a report link here. Okay, and so you can get to them from there. Let me show you in the resource plan. You also can see the reports here for. Uh, the resource plan portfolio. These reports can be customized and you know modified as you wish. So you can change filters. Say for instance your environment is not really using departments. You might be using some other field that would be more helpful to use as a filter. You can update these. You can change the theme. You can add your own logos to these reports. We do that a lot for clients. And then there is timesheet reporting as well. If we go to timesheets, we can monitor if there are uh, compliance issues with timesheet submissions, utilization, and so forth. So you can see timesheet hours by project and so forth. Okay, now on top of the Power BI access and integration with OnePlan, we also can use Power Apps and Power Automate as well. So within a plan, you'll see that we have these workflow stages. These are called process steps in one plan. Some organizations call them phases or stages, whatever you prefer. And what, out of the box, you just name these and you can step through these phases, okay? So you can either move forward to the next phase or you can move back to the previous phase. Okay, but what one plan allows is the connection to a, spe a specified power automate. This can be done either uh, completely customized or with a one plan custom connector in power automate. Okay, what this can allow you to do is that if the, the plan or the request has first been created and now it's in a selection process, you can have the power automate send approvals, send email alerts and not until those approval requests are approved or at least responded to will it advance to plan. Additionally, if you want folks to not initiate plans from one plan, you can do that. There is a request mechanism where folks can just initiate their requests here. But again, if you have a group or segment of people that are not working within one plan that are sort of separate from that PMO, you can have them work in Power Apps. So you could create a, a simple 
idea list power app based on a SharePoint list and you can have them submit their requests here. Submitting the request will then initiate a Power Automate, which will send those request approvals and alerts to whoever you decide. And then once that is approved, we can automate that in Power Automate to automatically create the plan in one plan. That can be created either as a plan or still in the idea phase. And then it can go through further uh, vetting here in one plan. Okay. Once it's an idea in one plan, you have options to then reorganize it as a plan. So we're here in the idea section, sometimes called requests, depending on what your lingo is. And then you can reorganize it as a plan. So in our environment, we have a very standard hierarchy. This hierarchy can be customized, but we've got portfolios, programs, projects. So if I wanted to reorganize this as a project, I could decide not only what type of plan it would become, but also what its parent plan would be. So I can select, okay, perhaps this is something that's going to go under the cloud and mobile first program. Okay, so that's actually a portfolio. So I'll select the program, improve infrastructure. And then that will place this plant automation as a plan under the improved infrastructure program. Keep in mind in one plan, the term plan just refers to any project record, regardless of the hierarchy level. One more thing to show is that if you have folks that are uh, still interested in working in Project Professional to manage their schedules, you can do that. There is a one plan plugin that allows you to com completely work entirely in Project Pro for the project schedule. And then you can publish the project from here to an already existing record in one plan. This will still allow you to manage the plan level fields here. If I go back into here, into the portfolio, I go into that cloud and mobile first. You can still manage all of these fields here, but then when you're in the work plan list, this would show that it is connected to Project Professional and this would be locked, okay? This can be used both as a continuing management of the schedule in one plan and Project Pro, or you can just use this as a mechanism to import projects into one plan that already exist. Then you can disconnect from Project Pro and just work only in one plan. You have many options when it comes to those integrations and connections. So that's all we have for today. Please join us for more videos. We're going to be showing all of the different sections of OnePlan, um, including this specific uh, task management and all of the different work level items like risks and issues and changes, key decisions, backlogs if you're connected to Azure DevOps. So we look forward to seeing you here again.